when we talk about equities, we're actually saying that equities have what you call a skewed return profile. Mm -hmm. And I want to show you what that means. Because there's different instruments have different ways of trading. And so there's instruments like currencies that basically trade the same way on both sides, long and short. But actually equities over time tend to go up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can see this over a long time, they tend to go up and up and up. Why is that? Because they're like creating more value and therefore Correct. like, yeah. Companies add value. You know, when you have say gold, uh, you know, gold doesn't change. There's no value added to gold, right? It's always the same. Um, it, it's not productive, but um, equities are productive asset, right? So, so over time, they will actually go up. And so what we could do, for example, is we could do this uh, SPY, yeah? And if we want to get the returns of, of the S&P, what we can do is we can do this PCT change, yeah? So this gives us the returns. And then what we can do is we can plot a histogram of this. Mm -hmm. And this actually shows us the returns. Now, this is not a great histogram. Mm -hmm. So we just increase the number of bins a little bit. And we just say bins equals 40, let's say. What are bins? So bins are basically those. Um, ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Those things. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so when you, when you look, kind of closely mm -hmm. you can actually see it's it's a bit difficult to see but when you when you look really closely you can actually see that the returns in equities in general are a little bit skewed to the right hand side mm -hmm. so when you look at the histogram they actually shift a little bit uh, to the right hand side it's what you call a skewed return um so there uh, the returns in equities are ever so slightly more positive than negative mm -hmm. yeah and and that creates uh, this scenario that the long side actually trades differently than the short side right it's it's pretty obvious right that, <laughs> um um short does you know you look at these equities and the short just doesn't trade the same way as the long does Mm -hmm. um, and so you can either say, well, I use trend following or I use buy the dip, or mm -hmm. if I want to go to the short side, I have to do something different. I can't just use the same trend following principles. This is because the return profile is actually slightly skewed. So when we use, instead of a histogram, when we use, a dot, when we use the average dot mean, yeah. you will see that this is actually slightly positive. It's mm -hmm. not very positive. It's 0.0004. Mm -hmm. um, this is 0.04% uh, mm -hmm. on average uh, towards the positive. In trading speech, one hundredth of a percent is also called a basis point. Mm -hmm. So quite often in trading, traders talk about basis points. A basis point is one hundredth of a percent. And so what we can see is here, this is actually skewed by 4.3 basis points mm -hmm. on average per day. Uh, so, so when we take the average return per day, we actually 4.3 basis points in profit every day on average. That's actually quite significant because if you multiply this by, uh, you know, the number of trading days per year, which is about 252 or so, Mm -hmm. um, so if we can do this, then that's actually a solid daily, a solid daily profit. You know, that's, mm -hmm. that's 10% per year, you know, and this is actually the return that we see on the S and P on average, mm -hmm. it actually makes around 10% per year, 10 to 11% per year. Mm -hmm. You know, when people talk about this sort of equity return that that's what that is you know it's it's this this skewed return to the right side and that's why we're trading those
differently on the long and on the short side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah, it does, doesn't it? So, um, 